Do you have trouble with your picture or logo background? It has a kind of background that you don't want it to have and somehow you want to make it transparent. So I will show you a very good way to make it transparent in Photoshop. Uh, welcome to Crypto Studio. Today I want to tell you how to change your uh, logo or picture background to transparent way so it uh, has a kind of transparent background that wherever you put it there is no margin, there is no other colors behind the logo or picture and for that uh, first let me show you what happens what I mean for example that I have a picture in my Premiere Pro project I've brought it to sequence and I just want to bring a logo or for example Camtasia logo I want to bring it into my project and I want to put it right here and I want to make it this big so as you can see I want to place this logo for example here but it has white sides actually uh, if it was smaller there would be uh, white spaces around the logo and this is somehow bothering this is annoying so how can I make this logo transparent that's easy for that I should come to Photoshop and with some easy steps I can change it to uh, transparent it's something good when you are for example in a place that you don't have your own computer or you're using with another person's computer that Photoshop is not installed on that it is not necessary to install Photoshop for that PC you can do that online too then I will show you a very nice place a nice site so you can go inside and do your pictures transparent with actually transparent background let me open Photoshop in here online Photoshop all you need to do is to search it and then I will put the link into the description below as well so that's it but I'm not gonna go right in here first I will go into the Photoshop itself you can see that I have changed many of these pictures uh, from normal background to transparent background so I should bring my project for example this is gonna be my project here I will bring it into Photoshop I drag it actually into fo Photoshop then it comes like this so this is the logo that we had and we want to um, change actually actually that white background to a transparent background for that you can uh, first come to the layer and make a new layer and you can call the layer or maybe you can leave it alone and press okay try not to change anything just press ok and there will be a lawyer right here so you can even do that by pressing ctrl shift and n so imagine that i ctrl z my uh, procedure and i press ctrl shift plus n you see that a new layer pops up and you just press ok the layer will be uh, actually presented in the right side of photoshop so i uh, first i need to change uh, this layer actually which is my background layer my main layer uh, to somehow visible way so um, uh, it is visible actually I should open it in a kind of workable area in a kind of uh, touchable area by taking this lock actually so when you press that lock is gone normally is the some sometimes you uh, bring some projects some logos that they are locked and you cannot change them so that is copyright maybe or some other uh, things that the author maybe has put something on but this is something normal you have brought it from the internet from the image part of the internet and you want just to uh, change it to transparent background then uh, you should come to this uh, actually part which is magic wand tool you right click on it and uh, choose magic wand tool you press it and it has a hot, hot key actually the hot key is W and U uh, can choose that while you come here the place that you want to make transparent the place that you want to delete actually uh, must be clicked and in here it is our white place uh, our white side so I want to uh, click it when I click it all the white places are selected so this is easy this part is so easy and then I press delete and then you can see that these are uh, chess screen shape actually it looks like kind of chessboard screen comes in in front and it shows you that the background is deleted and there's no other color this is the transparency shape and when you see that it shows you uh, the background is transparent so I don't see any other color for example I want to make even this white part transparent I click it but it doesn't click this area why because there is a line in here which means that this software knows this part as a kind of shape and just 
uh, select this part. If you want to select this again, you need to select on that. As you can see, they are selected separated, separately. So uh, if you want to do that, you can just again press delete, and you can see even this part is transparent. If you put it on your uh, picture or any other places or on your screen. Uh, this is exactly the part that gets the color of your background actually so i don't want to do that because camtasia itself has this kind of color for sure if camtasia knows that uh, they will charge me somehow um i'm not going to do any other thing that's it for exporting that it's better to export that in png format and i come to file and i export quick export as png is the way that you can export it as a png file with transparent background you export it and i um, actually copy that I will save that onto my desktop but do not be this messy do not actually put all the things on desktop it's just for a tutorial I actually I'm not gonna save all my files on uh, desktop actually so it's I recommend you not to do that not to save your files on uh, places you don't know even the places that they are uh, accessible all easy accessible places are not okay for you believe me that I have experienced this loss that I've experienced this suffer after losing my files after getting them lost especially in, in the place that my Windows is installed and blah blah I'm not gonna go into them right now so I will save it or I call it for example Camtasia transparent and then I press save you can even save your project it can be saved as a project I'm not gonna save it as a project I've already have this project so I'm not gonna save it and I press no then on desktop you can easily understand this so look one two Camtasia with white background Camtasia with transparent background how do I know it's transparent because uh, the background has my desktop color so I come uh, to Premiere I bring it here again I can understand that that is transparent because this one has white areas and this one has black areas which shows this is transparent uh, th this actually has a transparent background I will bring it here I want to make a comparison make it smaller and make this one bigger so this is for example the logo that we have which is transparent as you can see the white places and the white areas are actually completely deleted and the, the shape uh, comes as what it is nothing else happened in here so when I come here you can see let me put them all together this is the logo that we changed to transparent background and this is the original logo let me make it smaller so that you can compare them easily for example like this there is no wider spaces around uh, you can easily do that if you don't have Photoshop you are somewhere that you want to do that really quickly you don't have a computer that has Photoshop on or you're somewhere that you want to uh, do such a thing you want to give a project you're in university you are in an office you're so somewhere that there is a free computer for you or maybe you're in a, a cafe, I don't know a, a kind of net cafe or or anywhere so uh, forget about that uh, then uh, you should come to the site for example like uh, this photopi.com this is uh, actually the site that I've already mentioned I will put the link into the description below you can just do the same things you can just drag the file oh no no that is the main campus here sorry you should drag the main file that you want and bring it to the uh, photopi photopia maybe it's not photopi because it's actually written like T P but not that P forget about that it is photopia like utopia and it, it is really a photopia like a utopia for me because I have uh, just uh, saved myself with this because I have been somewhere that I didn't have a computer or at least I had a computer oh if you don't have a computer how are you gonna use that I didn't have uh, uh, actually Photoshop on the computer and I used it and uh, it was exactly the same it is exactly Photoshop all you need to do is to come to liar maybe the hotkeys don't work I don't remember yes the hotkeys do not work and I come to the liar new new liar again 
there will be what happened here so I, I think I opened something I wanted to delete it but actually it opened forget about that it is the advertisement of the site in here there is no lock in here fortunately the liar has come exactly like Photoshop in here this is magic wand in this site it looks like this when I press that I come uh, to the white places don't panic the mouse cursor doesn't change to magic wand stick there's no problem you just click on it it will be selected and then press delete see exactly what happened in the software of Photoshop happened on this side too without installing Photoshop it is a quick way to uh, somehow change um, your uh, background to transparent as fast as possible then um, you can come to the file again export as here you can choose PNG and then save it it goes to your computer as I did and then you can bring it on your project I hope you liked it send it to others who need it and don't forget to subscribe me wait for other tutorials every week there will be a tutorial about Premiere later after effect then Cinema 4D they are all free for you have a good day see you later